I'm so heartened by the fact that most of our audience are really young. I think that's great. And people that just like pop music. I don't think we appeal to, we marginalise ourselves to people that are kind of just like intelligent rock. Because I certainly don't write in an intelligent way. I really don't. I don't write, I don't write sitting at a typewriter with a cigarette thinking that I'm H.G. Wells or something like that. I write screaming my head off in a, in a rehearsal room and, you know, four hours later my ears are bleeding and we've come up with a song. And that's the way I write. It's a very, in, it's a, you know, I don't ever want the words to be taken away from the music. I print the words when the album comes out just so people know what I'm saying, but I want them to be totally part of the music. I think there's a, songwriting is actually the key. The key to songwriting is understanding the interplay between the words and the melody. And you can't actually take either of them and say one's more important. Robin is now a party election broadcast by the Liberal Democrats. It's Brett and Simon. Hello, welcome Hello. to Select. Hello. Thank you for coming Hello. in. Right. I'm very good, yeah. So we just saw the new video, Lazy. Mm. Do you think that it's a good way of, you know, getting into your audience, making videos, or do you prefer live gigs? Um, it is a good way, if, uh, if it's an interesting video. But mm. it's very, it's very, uh, very um, rare that you get a very interesting video. People sort of tend to get bored of videos unless it's got something to focus on. Yeah. And I think that one has. So that's yeah. The one, the one Mm -hmm. but, um, I like it's a funny thing for bands, isn't it? Because it's like bands, are, you know, you come in like you, you spend sort of like five or six years of your, of your life of, as a, you know, a member of a band learning how to play live, and then all of a sudden you've got to make videos, and it's a completely different sort yeah. of territory kind of thing. But it's a matter, it's like anything else, you just got to learn to get good at it and stuff. Is it weird for you to do videos? I feel a bit funny when it's happening. Yeah, yeah. it is. Because, you know, none of us are actors. I don't think, you know, there's very few people that are in bands that are actors. Yeah. I'm certainly not an actor. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, what about live um, live performance around Europe? You, you're in the middle of a tour. You just did a couple of live yeah. Games. We just sort of, we're sort of coming to the end. We just come to the end of the European tour. We just played in Italy uh -huh. in the last three days, and it's gone very well. So yeah. I'm very in Italy. Was pretty wild. The kids Great are wild out there. Yeah. And are you where are you going next? Uh, we're off to we're going to Spain in a couple of days, and then we're off to Canada and America, and then Israel. We're going to Israel. Yeah. Yes, you know, yes. from Israel. Oh, well uh, done. We've been to Israel before. We went. Where did we play? We played in Tel Aviv. We played in. What was that place beginning with H? Haifa. 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 Yeah. With H. It's actually Haifa. 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 Also, in the US, you've got a different name, don't you? They call you differently. They call us something very differently. They Go call on. Us the London Sway. The London Sway. Mm. Why? We don't talk about that. We don't talk oh, about okay. that. Okay, oh, next question. So, when are you going to Israel? <laughs> We're going to Israel on the 6th of June, I believe. Oh, really? Shamatim? Div de Kota. We're doing, okay, we're doing two, two nights in Tel Aviv. Only in Tel Aviv this time. I think yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. Quite but looking forward Israel's to Israel's a great place, yeah, because we've played there before and it's brilliant. Yeah. And also, um, great place. Asia? Asia, we've, we've just been there. We're not. Um, well, we'd like to go again, but we just played out there. We played out in Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan. What was it like? Is it a completely Brilliant. different audience? I mean, it's I would great. imagine. It's great. Uh, Thailand yeah. and places like that, and uh, Singapore and stuff like that. Yeah. Did you stay a little bit for a holiday or yeah. no? Well, you know, we had a couple of days off. Oh, it's just really nice being there. It's like a holiday being there. Mm. You're working, it's great. Yeah. Rare. It's a great vibe. It is. I'm, actually, I'm really want to gear there. And, but you should, you one day, well, should, should one day. There. Yeah, be there. That's because she's speaking to me, and I have to think both. Yeah. Um, Things. Anyway, what I wanted to ask you, when you're such a successful band all around the world, I mean, also in America, does it mean... Not in America, we're not. Well, That's the country we do the worst in. We're, we're really? successful in Europe and in the Far East and stuff like that, but in the States, it's not good for us. So all. why do you go there? Because you want to make it get... Because we've got no, some fans there. We've, we've, got, got, a lot of, we've, we've got, got a lot of committed fans, fans out there, so we're going to play to them, you know, but we're not doing a big extensive tour of America. Yeah. We're not going over there like, oh, we're going to break the States or whatever. We're just playing a couple of gigs over there. Yeah, and does it really important for you to be you know, like very famous all around the world, or is it the most important for you is London? It's like, it's kind of, it's nice because like the, with this album we've got, we've sold a lot of records in Europe and that's, that's really nice because we're getting a lot of extra, you know, getting a lot of fans and getting quite big in Europe, which is great because it's nice to sort of like just, I don't know, it's just, it's nice to not play to the same people all the time, so that's pretty pointless, playing to the same, preaching to the converted is a pretty pointless thing to do. Yeah. So, um, 
it's, yeah, you know, it's nice to fight new people. Yeah, definitely. It's great fun. And also in the band, you've got two new boys. Something's yeah. going wrong today. Yeah. Two new boys. Two new boys. Uh, two new boys. Two new boys. Two new boys. Two new boys. Two new Now you're talking. Two you're naked. New boys. <laughs> No, you, uh, what's the name? Um, Neil and Richard. And Richard. Yeah. Now you, you. I'm related to Neil. To he's, Neil. He's my, he's my twin brother. No, no he's, he's, really? not, he's my cousin. All right. And how, how did he get into the band? He There's a bit of a funny story going on there. Hilarious story. <laughs> we, <laughs> he, um, he, we were rehearsing in North London, up in uh, some studios up there, doing some demos for the latest album coming up. Uh -huh. And um, he came to collect a suit off me, which I've got dry cleaned for him. And, oh. um, and he never left, and he just didn't pick up the suit. And really? He's, and he's with us now. And yeah. he, did he fit really well? Yeah, he did. He fitted in straight away. He just started playing on the piano. And, uh... Wow. Wicked. Yeah. And, Brett, what about you? Do you see Suede as your baby, or is it sort of more democratic? Mm. Everyone do whatever they want to do, say whatever they want to say, or is it more sort of my little baby, I'll take care of it? No, not at all. It's quite, it's quite a democratic <coughs> organization. I think people people see it as, um, as, as my sort of thing because. I'm a singer, and because I'm kind of the principal songwriter and, and, and stuff like that, and because I've been in it such a long time, but you know, it's a pretty democratic, democratic organisation. When we're making records, it's kind of like if some, if one person doesn't like an element of something, you know, part of it, one will, will sack it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's, oh, it's that's something good. that's kind of pretty, we're pretty united, and we get on pretty well as friends, kind of thing, rather yeah. than just sort of people that play in the band. You know yeah. what I mean? Which I think is kind of pretty much the point of being in a band. It's kind of like getting on the on, it, on the same plane mentally and stuff like that. So yeah, it's probably I think very to important. be in a band with someone, you've got to get on with them socially, and sort of like to get on with them musically in a way. Yeah, especially yeah. socially. I mean, you spend so much time together on yeah, the road and stuff. Twenty-four hours. Small hours small yeah. Socks in your face. Yeah. Like <laughs> Wake up! Come on! Mm. All right, guys, we're going to play a video that you want to see. What video would you like to see? Um. Oh. You've, you've sprung this one oh. on me. Um, what about the seahorses? Crow, crow. Crow, crow. 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 Oh, right. <laughs> that was the other crow. Yeah. Like they're waiting the, with the tape. The model. <laughs> right. Craft work, yeah. Right. We're going to watch it right now. Let's have a look. <laughs> Welcome back. In case you're just opening your television, you're watching Select MTV, and I've got Swain in the studio. Lucky me. Uh, right, guys, so tell me, festivals, what's happening with festivals? Festivals. We're doing some festivals. We're doing, um, well, we're doing one in Spain next week called Fest de Mad. Mm -hmm. Fest de Mad, good Fest name. Mad, where everyone goes mad. <laughs> good name. Um, we're playing Reading in August mm -hmm. in, in England. And the rest of them are. We're doing Roskilde in Denmark, and we're doing Hortsfeld, I think, in Sweden. We're doing Quartz. In Norway, and I think we're doing Torsten Factor in Belgium. Oh, that's a good festival. Is it? Oh, I've it's not been good, to that I've been there before. last year. Yeah? Brilliant, brilliant festival. Have you been to Roskilde? No, I haven't. That's brilliant. That is that's the, thing, the big ones on a bit. It's an incredible festival, really? Roskilde. Yeah, you should get yourself out there. It's nice. really good. Probably I will. I ended yeah. up there. And Can we're you? doing a couple of others as well. So we're playing. So you can. We'll be around All around the world, hey? All, All around, around the Europe. World. Sorry. Yep. Europe. And um, what about New Album? Uh, the new new album, new new album. Yeah, we I mean, started writing, album. right? Oh yeah, yeah, we started writing for it. We haven't, we haven't started recording yet. We're going to do... start writing. Yeah, we started writing for it. We're is it everyone writing, or is it just you writing? Um, it's kind of like a bit more democratic than it ever ever used to be, and everyone kind of like has a say in things. You know, the writing. I, I kind of like I write officially. I write with Neil and with Richard, but we're kind of like we're jamming a lot these days, rather than writing separately from the studio. Yeah. So the kind of like the way in which we're doing stuff is changing, which is good. Healthy. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a bit of a giveaway. Oh, God, I thought I left giveaway. A bit of yeah, a giveaway. Yeah, a bit of a giveaway. We've got all those suede um, singles all signed. Oh, do you know that the, it's also, rarer to actually have them not signed because we've signed so many of these. <laughs> really, that you can't believe that there really, will be honestly, any not. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't say that. You have to make them. It's you true. Know, if you've special. got an unsigned copy out there, yeah. yeah, sell it to record collectors. <laughs> Got a T-shirt as well, and you've got a little book. It's probably got wicked stories and Ben. Oh, photos as well. Oh, well. Oh, 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 no stories. It's, just it's got, it's got what we eat for breakfast and things like oh, that. Oh, is it? Yeah. Don't tell them because if oh, you're interested to know, you have to um, win the prize. Okay. The question is, let me get it. Right. Um, do you want to do this? Okay. What's okay. The this is the question and ABC, but don't give the question. Okay. Yeah. Right. What suede album features the hit singles Saturday Night Trash and Lazy? Is it A. Staying in? Is it B, getting out, or is it C, coming up? Right.
right, give us the answers after the coming break. Out, Thank you very, very much for coming all Thank the you, way. Thank you, Thank you very much. And now it's a break. Cheers.